How's it going? This is Eric with AirCompressorPartsOnline.com. Uh, today I'm just going to go through a simple uh, video on how to identify the parts on a gas-powered air compressor and the functionality of these parts, what they do, just kind of the basics 101 of gas-powered compressors. Uh, here we have a roller gas-powered unit, single-stage compressor. Uh, let's go through, uh, see the controls. Right here we have a, a pilot unloader valve. Uh, it's a very popular part, very common to replace. It's uh, basically the brains of the compressor. So you're going to, it's going to control the cutout pressure and the cut-in pressure of the unit. So we have a toggle on top. In the vertical position, it let's see, unloads the unit. And when you flip it down, it loads the unit so the pump can pressurize. And of course, you have your little muffler here for the unloader. So this one idles, it will, uh, the pressure will route through this unloader tube and out of the muffler. So it's a pilot which controls the pressure and unloads the unit. Uh, so it'll unload while it's idling. So that's a very common part. Um, you want to order this usually by your make and model number of the unit. Make sure you match up the correct pilot valve. If not, we do have these on our website under air compressor parts by component. You'll want to match up the PSI ratings. So the cut-in pressure, in this case 95 PSI, and the cut-out pressure, which is a second figure, which is 125 PSI, or what have you. So you want to match your cut-in pressure and your cut-out pressure you know, to your compressor, your original ratings. So there's a pilot unloader valve, and of course it's routed from the unloader line to the check valve. Of course this holds the air in the tank after it shuts off and idles, so it doesn't leak back pressure back to the head. So your check valve here, and we have a pressure gauge to sense the tank pressure on the main manifold, and we have a safety pop-off valve. Of course, pretty obvious what that does. Uh, well, it saves your life, so it blows if it uh, pressurizes too high. And over here we have your air regulator assembly, and of course it just simply regulates the pressure to your outlet, to your, uh, to your hose rather, to your tool. So we have our uh, control components. Here we have our transfer tube that routes to the after cooler of the pump, which cools down the air as it exits into the tank. So we have our transfer tube. Of course, uh, our pump, pretty self-explanatory there uh, with our oil sight glass. And come around to the engine side, we have air throttle control. Now, this on this particular type of unit, it routes and it attaches to the governor of the engine. So this will obviously control your cutout pressure and your idle speed uh, via the pilot valve. So when it hits maximum pressure, it will kick down the throttle and idle. So that's your uh, idle throttle control. Uh, let's see, and here we have, let's see, your, of course your drain valves in your tank. You know, those are pretty self-explanatory as well. You want to definitely make sure you drain the tanks after every extended use, especially if you're in a very humid area, um, build up a lot of moisture. So you want to drain those typically after every extended use. And uh, those are uh, basics of a gas power compressor. So the main thing is your pilot and loader valve. You want to make sure you match it up with the correct pressure settings. But this is uh, a very common part to replace. And we have many different styles and many different ratings on our website um, under air compressor components. So check that out, certainly. Um, and next we'll be doing a how-to on uh, let's see how to adjust the pilot valve. We also have technical document and video on how to adjust these. So they are adjustable. So you not, don't necessarily have to replace it. And uh, that'll do it for this time. Uh, to next time, we'll go through the basics of an electric-powered air compressor. And that'll take care of it. So see you next time.